I have George Wilkins here. He has written a book called Apollo the Misguided Missile. And then who else do we have in the studio? I'm Michelle Williams. I illustrated the book. And it's gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. Coming soon to a bookstore near you. And we also have the publisher. I'm Karen Stuth with Satyama Writers Resource. I'm the publishing mentor helping George to bring forward his marvelous story. Yes, and we're very excited to hear about it. So George, my first question to you is, what inspired you to write a children's book about anti-bullying? Well, when my children were young, I used to write for them, and I'd read them stories, and they also dealt with some of the bullying issues uh, growing up. And uh, we just like to put, a I, I like to put stories together that have a positive message, and a positive message, something that would help kids through issues that they might be having in school. Wow, I think you got Dad of the Year award for that. You know, maybe I should step up my game and write Uriah something nice. <laughs> so, Apollo the Misguided Missile, tell us what this book is about. Well, the book is about a, a tribe of boar, and they're a warlike community. And the problem is uh, they want to control the world. And there's one town that has a fence or a wall around it and they can't get to this particular town. And King Grump, who is uh, pretty much a tyrant, you know, he says, we're going to do this, we're going to take this town, and I want a missile to knock down that wall. And so the people of the town find out about his plans, and they send a young man, first a, a young girl, Grace, uh, comes up with the idea, well, maybe we could talk to the missile. So a young man goes to the Boar Village and uh, sneaks in and talks to the missile and explains, you know, love and peace and and why he doesn't really want to do this. So he goes back to the uh, village and, well, I don't really want to tell you anymore because then you're going to know, know the ending. It's a beautiful book. And you know what I love about kids' books is how easy it is to read? You know, not too many words on a page. <laughs> Oh, but the illustration is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is filmed, the radio show, on the Asai TV on Roku. So, Brandon Bishop will put it on YouTube. So, we'll be able to show some of the book off. But, illustration is gorgeous. When are people going to be able to purchase the book? It'll be available uh, by the end of September. Hopefully before that, but by the end of September, definitely. Oh, absolutely wonderful. And, uh, PR, let's, let's give the... Uh, well, I wanted to also mention that uh, right now, if they go to gwwilkins.com, uh, they can pre-order uh, their their own book. So very nice. Pre-order is highly recommended. It is highly recommended because we're expecting them to go very quickly. That's right. So I wanted to have you kind of explain more about the book in detail, about it being for the anti-bullying. Yes, you. <laughs> um, we've got mics in front of people, they just don't like to talk. <laughs> well, I'd love to talk about the book because I think the message of it is absolutely amazing. Um, it is a book that is about ways to deal with bullies. And King Grump of the uh, Village of War is the consummate bully. When he decides that the Village of Bliss should be his, acting as a bully, he builds a missile and plans to knock down the wall and take the village. And the villagers uh, coming together um, are brainstorming through the night, what can we do about this? And one little girl, one little lone voice says, what if we talk to the missile? Ooh. And after everyone finishes laughing hysterically at her, they decide maybe this is not a bad idea. And that there begins um, the first tool giving, given to children in the book about ways to deal with bullies, you know, to try to talk to them, to try to understand their perspective, to try to find some commonality or common ground. And that's exactly what occurs in the book, that um, an older um, young man from the village embarks on essentially an epic journey. He's on an epic journey and he walks over mountains and through dark forests and through scary places to go and meet with the missile and talk to Apollo and explain the viewpoint of the Village of Bliss. And uh, it, it is 
Well, I don't want to spoil the end like the says. So, <laughs> oh, we're trying. So I won't, I know. I, I'm going to try my, uh, Michelle next, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll get to one of you. <laughs> I'm like a Spanish inquisitor here. <laughs> and the illustration is absolutely gorgeous. What inspired you? Like, obviously, George wrote the book and you made the beautiful pictures, which they both sell together. So tell us about what inspired you. As I was reading the book, all this, the pictures just came to mind, and I just put it down on paper. And when George and I got together, he said that's exactly what he had in mind. So I think Ooh. we had a great teamwork where he had the story, I had the, when I read it, I saw what he saw, and we put it down on paper, and it was his thoughts on paper. So he said uh, I did capture it correctly. It was fun to do something, and especially when it's got a good message, it's nice to be able to be a part of that. And even if it affects just one person out there for reading it, it has a good message. Message, and it'll help someone to give them the tools to know how to deal with bullies and it doesn't always have to be aggressive and it doesn't always have to be um, fighting back you can try and sort things out with peace and love and I think that's what really the story um, re reveals that very well it really does and I can't even draw a stick figure so I'm glad George you didn't hire me because this is beautiful <laughs> well, thank you. absolutely wonderful so George People can pre-order it now on your website, gwwilkins.com. Yes. And you should be shipping by end of September. We're expecting to have the, yes, the complete shipment in by the end of September. All right, there you go. Now you know. Was there anything else you wanted to share? I think there's something fun in the back of the book, which will be a surprise. There's a couple of questions and things you can do to have some practical pra um, resolutions to things. So there's um, one page back, you'll see there is a, a couple of questions that kids can follow and answer, and it gives them something to do. So it's more than just a storybook. It's actually got something practical in there, too. I like that. And it will also be on the website, so they can, they can answer and discuss it right on the website as well. The book will be for sale on Amazon as well, and uh, I'm getting ready to set it up for pre-order on Amazon, and I do highly recommend that people pre-order it, but even if you don't have a child in your life, uh, your neighbors have a child, maybe sister and brother, you have nieces, nephews, or you might want to buy a copy of the book for your local school or library, as that really helps us to spread the message that bullying can have a solution. Books worth devouring, story monsters approved. What does that mean, George? Well, there's a there's actually a, a group of people, uh, educators, librarians, parents, and teachers that that read the manuscript before it even comes out, and uh, and they approved it. So it's not that I mean, easy it's a, to get it. Approved. No, no, no. It's what, yeah. what's the percentage? I don't know for sure what the percentage is, but it's very low. Yes. You know, they have extremely high standards, and we were delighted to receive that certification. And believe me, the book definitely deserves it. That is so true. I know a lot of people who have written children's book but could not get published. So we applaud you. So does Apollo the Missile. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and once again, find them on Facebook, Apollo the, Mis Apollo the Misguided Missile. And I will actually tag the page again so people can find it and make it easy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you all for coming on Our Town and sharing your story. Incredible. Mm -hmm.